And so I thought my sort of, sort of theme, because it's a relatively short talk, but my theme would be to ask the, 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 the difference or the connection with what an impressionist does and what an actor does. So what an impressionist does is create the voice by creating two aspects of the voice. First of all, there is what I would call the, the technical sound of the voice. The pitch, the tone, the rhythm, the intonation. This is all the, the, the technical side. Now, technically with Thatcher, what you have to do to create Thatcher's voice, there is a very slight, very slight tightening of the voice there. But it's actually created here. Uh, in the very front of the mouth is where it's actually created. And the, the placing of the voice is actually quite important. I actually was working uh, with the late Richard Griffiths, and uh, he, was, he and I were doing a radio play, and he was playing Alfred Hitchcock. And for reasons I don't really quite remember, I was playing his mother. Um, but um, anyway, uh, we were having a chat about voices, and he said, you know, Steve, it's really important about where you place the voice with a, when you're doing a real person, when you place the voice. I said, well, wh how are you coping with Hitchcock? He said, Hitchcock is as far back as you can get, because he was a man who had many secrets. And he connected, did Richard, the, the psychology of a voice with the actual sound of it. He said, uh, the other character that has uh, a voice that is really as far back as you can go in the throat is uh, Henry Kissinger, a man who literally knew where the, the, the bodies were buried. He said, that that voice indicates that you're hiding stuff. So I, that's, I, I learnt a lot from that, where you actually place the voice um, uh, can actually tell you a bit about, about the psychology.